Well, housing is, is critically important both from a social point of view and from an economic development point of view. Recent research suggests that between 4 and 5% of GDP comes from residential housing. There is a massive deficit of housing across Africa. People find it very, very difficult to access mortgage finance for a range of reasons. What we need is dedicated specialist housing finance providers who really understand the target market. In pretty much any African city you will see thousands of half-built houses. People are working every day to put money into a house. Now they don't have finance to build that house and finish it, but typically what they'll do is they'll buy a piece of land and as and when their salary allows them they will start to buy cement and bricks and slowly this house progresses from grass height until it's, it's, it's finished. In a place like Kenya there's already a deficit of um, 2 million houses and roughly 200,000 houses a year more are needed just to keep pace with the level of um, the level of demand. It sits somewhere between microfinance and mortgage finance. We provide a lot of advice to our clients. Our businesses almost don't look like finance companies. Part of our distribution line, we, we have offices at, uh, which, is, which are close to cash build. So it makes it convenient for our clients to drop off their documents, to go and inquire about the loan. When you walk through the door, um, the first person that you'll sit with is a quantity surveyor. And he will sit with you and look at your plan and decide with you how much money you need to build this house or to finish this house if you've already started it. Once we've decided that, we look at your affordability and then we structure the disbursements of our loan around the construction phases of your house. It's a job creator. You know, whole value chains, whole supply chains depend on housing. You know, when you think about transport, when you think about cement production, uh, when you think about a range of services industries as well, these create jobs for, for the economies. And finally, many people run businesses from their own homes. So for, for a range of economic development reasons, as well as uh, for pure social reasons, housing is vitally important. The most interesting thing about South Africa from a housing perspective is that since the fall of apartheid in 1994, the government in power has been producing and delivering millions of small homes to low-income, uh, previously disadvantaged people around South Africa. These are tiny little homes, but they are owned on title. Now, I Build Home Loans targets these individuals and we say to them, we would like to give you mortgage finance to build rental rooms on the back of your house. I paid my cousin to figure in 1994. He said, "Call." He has a IRDP. Go 2006. Nan, you have to go to the sister. We are not going to be able to do it. We are not going to be able to do it. We are not going to be able to do it. We are not going to be able to do it. We are not going to be able to do it. We are not going to be able to do it. We find that many of our clients actually double their incomes, but also it's a sustainable income which goes up with inflation. So when these people retire, instead of being reliant on a South African public pension scheme, which you know is declining with inflation, um, they are empowered to survive through this ongoing rental stream which they have now developed on the back of their house. Sayes abona kwimali abasinike yona ukuba ngaba izakwanela uba soke iroom ezimbili. Amagumbi mabini. So each is 1.4. Yalo nini uchinjo lwenzekile ngoku bantu awazi ufikela kwinto ezininzi. Ebe ningafile le kuzo kuqala. Njengombabe ni umuntu obengaphangeli ongathatha intweni. Construction mortgages are a highly relevant product for Africa. We believe that it is the route to servicing the majority of middle and middle lower income aspirant homeowners in Africa. With this investment, what we would basically like to see is a lot more people with access to housing finance, um, building their own homes and moving in and using those homes as productive economic assets if they're not actually living in them. We want to see the development of a very successful pan-African institution that's able to deliver even more at scale.